let me catch you. Well, hello. I'm not alone, of course. Oh, oh. There he is. And you'll know. Black coat. I just have like a wee light jacket on because to contrast what you just watched <laughs> when it was cold and well, I was really cold. Today is like weirdly warm. So yes, what do you think dog? You want to keep going? You don't like sitting on this anchor? <laughs> All right dog, let's go. All right, so here we are. Always got to inspect the message board there. I'll spare you the view. <laughs> Can you believe it's February? It's February 26th, but still, it's February. Wow, I'm not, I'm not even wearing gloves. I don't have a beanie on. I'm wearing <laughs> just a, a light jacket. I'm like, wow. Okay, <laughs> the weatherman was right. They predicted it to be unseasonably warm. And then tonight, or I guess rather early tomorrow, it's supposed to change to quite cold and we have a chance to four to five inches of snow tomorrow. Let me just four, two, five. Yes, not 45. <laughs> Make sure I enunciate that clearly. So, and it's so light out after work, I can actually record with my phone a little bit. So, whoop, I think he's, uh, oh, yep, he found a spot. So, uh, yeah, just uh, give me, give me a second. Yeah, I figured I'd show him some more. Oh. You gonna take that from him? <laughs> all right dogs let's keep it up let's keep going come on all right where was i saying uh weather yes <laughs> so four to five inches of snow tomorrow and uh, early thursday and then uh back to not quite this warm but uh, mid 30s maybe low 40s by the weekend so Kind of weird, kind of weird. <laughs> uh, from the people I know that have lived here a long time, they say this is fairly standard for an El Nino winter. So this is not uh, a surprise. In fact, one of them, well, a couple of them have snow removal businesses. And one of them, was kind of due for a new tractor this year and decided to hold off because he <laughs> had a strong hunch it'd be uh, <laughs> a low snow year and he called it. So, uh, we have gotten out a couple times as you've seen uh, last weekend the uh, girlfriend and I and Argo we went to Taquamanon Falls and did a little hike there and then we did the lantern lit hike uh, which they do every Saturday in February so that was the last one so that was neat it was fun to catch that and to contrast today the high temperature was like 27 <laughs> so we didn't even need snowshoes the snow was crusted enough that we could just walk on it and uh, be absolutely fine so uh, let's see, what else? I'm trying to be better about being in front of the camera. It's not uh, my most comfortable place to be, but I'm trying to be better. Um, 
since there's not much going on shipping season wise, in fact, there's absolutely nothing. I'll spare you what Argo's doing there. It's kind of been uh, pretty slow around here. <laughs> Just been uh, kind of working and then on the weekends trying to get out and uh, yeah, I haven't had an opportunity to film much. So, I guess apologies on that, but I guess I've been lacking in uh, inspiration. I don't feel like my normal day-to-day -day life is that exciting that warrants, uh, I guess, wasting your guys' time with. So <laughs> I try to make things hopefully you all will enjoy. And, Yes, I said y'all, and uh, I'm not from the south or anything, so hmm. kind of interesting. <laughs> I guess I'll flip this back around. Had enough of my my mug here. Huh. That was a familiar sight. Tower of History there. You can't really see it, but the Streamtime live camera is up there, of course. Right there as always. And uh, here we'll pop up here just a little bit further and we'll say hi to Spud. Actually, I can do it now. The fence has gotten a little lower. Hi, Spud. Doing his, uh, his good work there. Keeping everything under control. You can see here, ooh, maybe, the uh, Army Corps of Engineers tug, was it Owen Frederick, I believe, broke all that out yesterday. And uh, it looks like maybe it firmed up a little bit overnight. But, uh, like, I don't see it shaken in the little bit of slight little bit of water movement that you see over there i'm hoping you can see that the water surface has some movement there on the right and on the left of that spud there it's kind of locked up but uh, i bet it's not uh, too secure this is 50 degrees out um, I did hear on the radio that apparently they didn't want the Valerie B breaking ice as they were worried about uh, compromising her hull. So, and they also said something about the Valerie B going in for work. So I don't know what that's up at all. So I might have to head down there and see if she's in the water or if they got her in dry dock or who knows. I really have no idea. None at all. Well, here I will, uh, the before mentioned one in Frederick, you see right there, the person's walking right by right now. Yep. There we go. But I think that's probably gonna, gonna wrap this up. I really don't have a whole lot here. Um, I've been thinking about putting together a video like of all the salutes I got over last season. I'm pretty sure I will do that. Um, Argo is barking that tree. I still find this uh, to be confusing. Yes. I feel like they should put uh, dots it appears between the O-U-T, because that is Outdoor Use of Trails House Consortium. <sighs> but the way it's written there, as someone who's new to the area, I was very confused until I looked it up. <laughs> but that's going to do it, I think. Oh, there we go. So I think I'll wrap this up, finish up this walk. And, uh, yeah, Ooh. he keeps trying to go. 
That's good boy and I. We'll return. Hopefully we'll have something cool to share. Look at that. How do you feel all without a coat? Gotta be nice. Alright dog, let's go. Haha, <laughs> catch you later.